guys welcome to my CSGIS assistant youtube channel first of all i would like to thank you all who are joining with our channel and your comments regarding our videos today i am going to show you about data driven pages in arcmap those are some sample maps which i had prepared to show the geographical information of some gn divisions of a particular area by using data driven technique i would be able to prepare a map series with the same layout with respect to GN division area boundaries. Here you can see the title of the map will be automatically changed according to the DN division which represent our map. And also the key diagram shows the respective GN division area from the entire interested area. And also the legend details are automatically changed by representing the all symbols used in the relevant map. And all the maps are designed with same template in the same layout. This will be helpful you in your day-to-day -day GIS project which is spread over large area. So the technique will be more interesting to the ArcGIS users and it will be definitely give a better experience in cartographic field. Okay, this is the layout view of my map document. Here you can see I have added the place name, transport, land use, data layers for this map. Additionally to that, I have added Gram Niladare division layer polygon for this map. I have to prepare separate maps for each GN division. Before preparing separate maps, I have prepared a suitable layout for this map series. I could be able to symbolize all the features appropriately and label of place names and a title North arrow, legend, a scale, and a text description related to coordinate system of data are added as marginal information for this map layout. You can refer my previous tutorial regarding labeling and creating map layout for take a complete guide for preparing this kind of map. Okay, now assume you have to prepare separate maps for these six GN polygon. First of all, we need data driven page tool set so right click on the toolbar then click on data driven pages here you can see the tool set has added to ArcMap window and you will be able to drag it for a better place then click on the first icon data driven page setup and observe the dialog box first of all tick on enable data driven pages and the data frame will be automatically select as layers then the layer should be selected as Gram Niladare division. You can add any data layer for separate maps according to your requirement. Then the name field should be selected as GN because the name of those divisions are included in these columns of attribute table. Then click on OK. Now you can see the map scale into another value and the data shifted away. In this toolbar, the first DN division name is previewed and by clicking on this right arrow we will be able to see next page related to second GN division. But the thing is map shows not only the data belongs to related GN division it shows other surrounding data also from this map. But if we can click the data into a relevant boundary it will be a great preview of the map. To do that right click on the layers in table of content then go to properties then click on data frame then go to clip options and click on this drop down list here you can select the option clip to current data driven page extend then click on apply ok now you can see this map only preview the data belongs to gn division 3 Likewise, another other maps have automatically applied the settings. The other thing is we need to put a title for those maps with the GN division name. To do that, click on this arrow in front of page text, then click on data driven page name. Now the page name has added to the map layout. We can drag this and place as a title for this map. Then you can change the properties of this map. Right click on the name and then go to properties. I am going to change the symbol. Now the 
title is OK, once you turn to the next page, the title will be automatically changed. I'm going to set the scale into one value because it will be more useful in map theory. First, you can select a suitable scale. Here I'm going to select the scale as 1 to 100,000. Then click on data driven page setup. Then you can click on extent. Here you can click on center and maintain current scale. Then click OK. Now you can see all the maps have a scale to selected scale and also those maps are maintained the center position. There is an essential thing that need to complete this map series. We need to add a key diagram for this map because it will help to the user to get a clear idea about the position of the current map. First, we need to add another data frame. To do that, click on insert. Then click on data frame. This new data frame can be dragged to a corner of this layout and you can change the size of this data frame. Then you can add the GN division data for this new data frame by dragging this Gram Niladari division feature class into the new data frame. Now the entire area is previewing on this frame and we need to highlight the relevant GN from this entire polygons. To do that, first right click on this new data frame then go to properties here you can select extend indicators tab then click on layers then click on the arrow now you will be able to see the layers are added to join extend indicator for these data frames tab then click on apply ok now you will be able to see the relevant gn division boundary is highlighted on this data frame this key diagram will help you a lot to identify the extract location of the area. You can enter a title for this key diagram and other essential information for this frame. Finally, you are able to export those maps into different format such as JPG, TIFF, PDF or any format. Thank you all who are joining until the end of this video and hope your comments regarding data driven technique and other suggestions for future lessons. If you are satisfied with our lessons, please remember to subscribe our channel and share our videos with your friends.